Today, in Marine Engineering 101, let's take the assembly process of a Samgong Mitsubishi purifier unit. This is the final part of series of video about this purifier unit. As a basic rule on assembly, always refer to maker's manual for special instructions on assembly. Also, use special tools as provided by the maker, and if necessary use only Teflon or bronze mandrels to avoid creating scratches on bowl surfaces. If you are ready, then let's go. Different design will have different adjustments and checkpoints for boxing up the machinery. It is always the safe choice to familiarize and even provide a copy of the drawings while doing the assembly process. As an assembly keypoint, always check that keyways, dowel pins and zero markings coincide with each other upon boxing up. These are guide for proper alignment and correct positioning of parts. Upon assembly of parts, refer to drawing for correct order. Avoid forcing parts that are too hard to fit. Any counter forces during assembly means wrong position of parts. Aim for smooth and easy meshing up of metal parts and balance fitting. Take note of tightening torques, alignment limit for tightening and bowl height if needed. Any deviation on bowl height from previous setup means wrong assembly of the unit. Do not run or continue on such condition, the deviation may cause dangers on operation of the purifier. Tally marks on the lock ring to the bowl body can be adjusted up to 20 mm from previous markings. Adding of removing bowl discs may affect tightening process hence the markings shall be your guide and limit. More than 20 mm means a misalignment on the bowl. Once all markings are in line, check other parts to assemble before installing the bowl on the spindle. Make sure that pilot valves are tight and the water supply device is not leaking. Installing the bowl into the spindle requires heavy lifting. If necessary use chain blocks or assistance. After putting the bowl in place tighten the lock nut as required, and commence assembly of top part. After securing the lock nut, start assembly of inlet and outlet device. The order shall be based on the drawing provided by the maker's manual. The final stage of assembly focuses on the bowl hood and the pipe connections of fuel and operating water. Make sure to renew gaskets on flanges to avoid leakages. If you learned something from this video, help us grow by sharing, following and commenting on our Facebook page Marine Engineering 101 Plus and our Marine Engineering 101 YouTube channel. Until next time, follow for more.